the glide. We want speed in our glide, and we want a fast kick leg, and we want to be cranking across that ring because that's how you throw far. So how do we accelerate the kick leg and the glide? Find out in this video. Check it out. It's Eric Johnson, and in today's YouTube video, what we're gonna answer is a question from one of our YouTube subscribers, and they're asking about how do we accelerate the kick leg and the glide? Great question, and in this video, we're going to go through that. One of the key things, or one of the big mistakes we see with gliders is just this, and they're trying to kick the leg, and you're gonna notice that's pulling me off of my drive leg, but listen to what I just called that. It's the drive leg. So in the throwing chain reaction system, again, we still have six pillars of the glide, very linear throw, and our setup is really vital. A pillar one, two, and three are absolutely your crunch pillars that help set up the rest of the glide. Now that being said, pillar four is our drive and click, and pillar three is where we're initiating the kick leg. So one of the key things we're gonna talk about is how do we accelerate that kick leg? So one of the things we're gonna do is when we pull up, we're gonna be able to to load the drive leg and when we create more drive off of this you're gonna create the double extension in our system again how we coach the glide we call that pillar four drive and kick drive and kick right am I making that point so it's your drive leg if you're a right-handed thrower it's drive kick and so if I'm throwing in this direction and you see how I'm setting up and I'll do a tall start style to show the position we're gonna be here and you're gonna notice how I'm up on the toe notice the position of the kick leg and as I go I'm gonna be able to get that really dynamic glide so when I create that nice big drive I'm gonna create that nice big kick and it becomes very reflexive and we call that double extension so our pillar four and this is where when we're working on drills and we're feeling kind of our a-frame drills our classic glide drill we're gonna be driving we're gonna drive off the toe finish off the heel and we're gonna create that nice double extension and notice the line of my body and if I'm in the right position here where everything's lined this way I I can pull and I'm gonna be able to drive into the throw. So how do we accelerate? Well, one of the things, again, we advocate is we talk about our pillar three, and that's, of course, predicated on the fact that we've set up one and two correctly, but pillar three is where the kick leg begins to shift into the throw, and then we're going to be dropping the chest, sliding out the kick leg, and then pillar four driving kick. So it's a, it's basically like, if you will, the kick leg is almost like a rolling start. And I think one of the good examples, or a really good example of this is David Storl. You're gonna notice Storl as he comes up, he comes over, and when he pulls the kick leg in, he's rising up on the ball of the right foot. The kick leg never pulls fully in. This is one of the big mistakes. How do you make your kick leg faster? Well, it's really simple. If I don't have to move it as far, it's gonna go faster, right? If we race in the 100 meters, and I start at 80 meters and you start at uh, 100, I have a 20 meter head start, I'm automatically gonna run a generally faster time because I'm running less distance, assuming we're generally the same speed. The same principle goes with your kick leg. If I pull, and so one of the big mistakes is you see young throwers pulling their knee all the way up here. That being said, look at somebody like Valerie Adams. So she has the kick leg come way up, and so her kick leg is up here, but she's loaded up again. So as she drops, then you're gonna see that kick leg sliding out out and the huge monster drive off the right foot. How do we know that throwers are driving off the right foot? Because as they go and they kick, you see that delivery off the heel. Now, how does that relate, again, to beating up the kick leg? Driving hard off the right, or your drive leg, so it's a simple drill called a driving A-frame. And so you're gonna notice when you consciously start to think here, you're gonna immediately start to increase that kick leg. So if I'm thinking drive here, you're gonna notice how that's gonna slide out. So looking at somebody like Michelle Carter, it's the same thing. When you watch her pull in and you see the knee pull in, you tend not to see the knee pulling all the way up. It's partially out, so as she drops the chest, the kick leg and the angle are there so she can get the big drive and the faster kick. Looking back in the vintage area of glides, 70s, 80s, noticing those guys, they had monster, monster right glide leg, but they also had monster delivery legs. So that's the drive and then the delivery, and so you would see the same thing the way they would come into the throw and they're dropping low and it's about setting up the proper glide angle so if you have a slow kick leg chances are one of the things you're doing is you're popping up and you're gonna notice when I do that so if I do a glide and I come here and I pop up 
I'm not gonna get a very dynamic kick like. So the best answer for that and understanding how do we create speed, it's about setting up the right sequence, the right chain reaction that's gonna create the right angle into your glide. And when you understand that it's twofold, don't pull the kick leg up so much. When you do pull in, that's what we call load and coil pillar two, you're going to be loading up on the drive leg and you're gonna be pulling that kick leg in so you have this leg loaded up, this leg here, so it, it immediately leads to that type of motion in your glide and that's how you start to create a more dynamic kick leg, a more dynamic glide drive and that's how you're gonna start smashing big throws in your glide. So hopefully you found that video helpful. If you would like to see some questions answered or some videos created based on your questions, be sure to throw that in the comments below. If you like this video, do us a favor, hit that thumbs up, give us a hit the subscribe, share this video and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.